vehicle is a 1937 Chevrolet standard sedan. I've had it now close on 10 years. Uh, it was a family heirloom. My cousin had had it for the previous 30 odd. Didn't have any interest in doing anything with it and said, well, if you were interested in that sort of thing, you might as well have it and restore it. So we put it all back together. It was in surprisingly good condition. It had been dry stored in a sheds for some years. So the bodywork was good, so there was no rust. Uh, some rats had been living in it, but they hadn't chewed the upholstery because it had been redone in the 70s in vinyl. But they'd made a mess of the carpets and the hood lining, so that had to be replaced. We rebuilt the engine. It needed that, obviously. It had been sitting out at some stage and uh, got some, uh, some water in it, so we uh, stripped it all down. And, and the gearbox uh, differential was fine. Uh, did all the brakes, stripped that all down, new brake lines as the rats had damaged that and the and a new wiring loom as well because uh, they'd had a good chew on that. It took us about three and a half years from go to woe until we got it. Our target was the uh, 50th anniversary of the Chev Club of Australia rally in Gunnedah. Uh, we got it registered six days before we left which was a bit tight. Later this year we're going to the 55th in Forbes and hopefully it'll be a better run this time. It's a car you have to actually drive. There's no power assistance on anything. It's a, it's a six cylinder, uh, but three speed on the floor, uh, drum brakes all around, at least they're hydraulic, not mechanical, uh, which is a bit of a help, but no power steering, no power brakes, no radio, no air conditioning. You know, you have to get some fresh air, you just open the vent behind the, in front of the windscreen and uh, it's either full blast or nothing. <laughs> but yes, it, it's a, you know, you appreciate you know, what the modern car is when you drive one of these because you have to drive it all the way. Whilst it's hard work, it is a pleasure to drive the thing um, and it attracts attention like you wouldn't believe. I've had young ladies blowing kisses at me and all sorts of things which you don't normally get in a normal car. But I think it's the car, not me. I'm sure it is. But uh, yes, it's. Uh, it's, it's really a, an adventure.